Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Matcha and Mati, a channel where we showcase a variety of cozy games with the aim of promoting gaming as a way to unwind and do mental health self-care. So we're going to be doing a little bit different type of game today. It's called Room of Depression and since we're talking about mental health on this channel, I wanted to try it out. It's a game that just came out and the reviews are promising so we can just try to check it out and see if it really is an accurate depiction of depression. Um... Yeah, so you can grab your cozy blanket and a cup of matcha tea and let's dive into the game. So the game starts with a warning. This game is designed to put you in the shoes of a person suffering from depression. This may lead to feelings of unease. Okay, let's start. Oh no, the... Cursor sensitivity is too much. So as you can see, I've already started the game, but we're going to start a new game. I haven't really reached the end of the game yet. Uh, I just played the intro part, so it's okay. Let's just start a new game. The character in this game does not represent okay. all people with depression. Yes. Please note, there may be triggering material within the game. Make sure to take breaks if necessary. And um, this applies to everyone watching as well, to all the viewers. Okay, 7 a.m. We wake up. We eat breakfast or a loaf of bread. We go to work, we ride, um... Is this the bus or the train? Looks like a... Looks like a train to me. Oh, it's a bus. <laughs> so we ride the bus. And then we go to the office where we work. And, um... This co-worker, she asks, Moon, how are you? I'm good, says Moon. Are you really now, Moon? Oh no, she looks so sad. Moon! Oh, it's 22 o'clock, like 10 p.m. And everyone's gone now. She works overtime. Now she has to go ride the bus again. Now she's home. She's washing her face. Turn off the lights and go to sleep. An ordinary day for Moon, not much different from you and me. Is this really the case? Okay. Episode 1, going to work. Um, okay, rip it off. So the sun is up. Are we late for work? Or is the sun usually that high up in 7 a.m.? I don't think so. Are we late for work? No, no, we're not. <laughs> we don't seem like we're in a hurry. Wash the face. Eat breakfast. Um, what is that? 200 meters. 200 meters. Oh. Depression? Oh my gosh, where was that? This does seem like a train. Okay, she's thinking about something. She's thinking blue. Feeling blue. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is scary, y'all. It's a tunnel. If 
feels like no matter what, the end of one tunnel is the start of another. Oh my gosh, yes. So, um, how I used to describe it to people who don't understand before is that it's like blowing into a balloon and the balloon never, you know, reaches its full inflation. My gosh. Why are we even going there? What's at the end? Why are we even going there? Which would be the greater suffering? To remain in this endless loop? Or to find an exit that's just as meaningless? Oh no, moon. What is this cross thing anyway? Why is there like a cross? If there's no means of escape, what's the point of moving forward? Oh babe. I'm gonna give you a hug. So this is what she's thinking about on the way to work. Episode 2 Greetings. Now we get off the bus, we go to work. Yeah, and we talk to this girl at work. She says... Um, Let's rehearse. I have to tell her I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. Okay. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. I have to tell her I'm not okay. I... Oh my gosh. I can do this. I... Um... Why is this so heavy? No. They're only words, but somehow Unhappy. they're not coming out. What's with unhappy. these thoughts? Unhappy, unhappy, unhappy. Let's go, let's do it. This is so difficult. I mean, my hands are like getting really tired from this. Don't bother her, she's just being polite. Maybe she's really curious and she wants to know if you're okay. I am. Don't bother her. She's just being polite. Come on, let's go. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh. My mouse. Don't bother her. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Wait! Wait what? Wait what? She's just being polite. There's no need to bother her. If you answer the question for real, they'll think you're weird. There's no point in making her worry. She can't help me anyway. Oh. No, Moon. Moon. I'm good. Oh, this pains my heart. Yo, we're gonna have to do 15 minutes long on this episode. <laughs> I can't handle this. Okay. We often dwell on trivial things. Aww. Moon. So our efforts soon go down the drain. Again and again. On occasion, we may be willing to open up our hearts. Yes. That's true. But when we hide our true selves, it feels like people barely notice. Oh, Yeah, people do, do barely notice. It's really, it's really sad, you know? It's okay, Moon. I'm here for you. Episode 3, Work. To do typing, meeting, and research. Okay, let's go. Typing for 
four, six, two, five, five, three. Okay. I got this. Yeah, you got this. Three, two, five, five, two, five. Keep going. Nearly there. Three, three, five, four, two, four. Six, five, six, six, four, two, three. Leave me alone. Leave me Let alone. Me concentrate. concentrate. Four, one, what am I doing? Four, two, four, six, five, four. Come on. Focus. Six, six, five, two, four, six. Oh my Concentrate. gosh. Concentrate. How is this so hard for you? Yeah. Shit. Stop bothering her. Three, six. Stop bothering her. Stop bothering her! Oh my gosh. Why does this keep happening? Oh my gosh. I just want it to well. Yeah, oh my gosh, Moon. Stop it! Stop bothering her! Okay. All these lingering doubts don't just interfere with our concentration at work. Oh my god. They impact our core confidence in all that we do, in ourselves, and in our futures. Yeah. Over and over, we live our days like this, until finally... We lose everything. No, Moon. Oh, I wanna cry. I feel so bad for Moon. This segment was just a representation of having depressive emotions and feelings. You may have felt this way before, too. Yeah, that's true. Did you think depression was simply about having extreme thoughts? Episode 4, Overweight. Thirteen o'clock. Okay, she's leaving work. Thirteen o'clock it is 1 p.m. Okay. 300 kilograms. Oh my gosh, 500 kilograms. Oh, it's too heavy. I need to take some stuff out. Okay. What am I gonna do? Out. If I fail, Dad will be furious. Why can't I keep my focus? Is that a is that a test paper? Like an exam paper? She's already working. I wish you both every happiness. Oh no. She used to like someone. I wonder how this will end. Moon. Oh, I love Moon. I didn't manage to finish my work today. Even though I don't have anything to do when I get back home. Yeah. It's okay, Moon. Mom, where are you? When are you gonna come back? No. Just want to give Moon like the biggest hug ever. Belle, I've been so empty since you left. Oh no, Belle. No. There's nothing else left inside the bag. Why is it still so heavy? Yeah, oh no, we can't take that out. Oh no. This tunnel again. Oh my gosh, I hate this tunnel. The metaphor of the bag. 
the burden couldn't be attributed to anything within because the heaviness was within the bag itself. Yeah. There is no logical way to explain depression. Even so, we seek out reasons for the unhappiness. Yeah, um... One of the things that usually bothers me whenever I tell people, or I tell my closest friends or my partner that I'm not feeling well, and I'm feeling so unwell, yeah, um... They always ask me, why? And there are just so many things that make you unhappy at the moment, but you know that none of those things are what's giving you this this um, feeling that you're feeling right now because it's just something different. It's something you can't explain. It's something that I don't know. Um, when I had when I had been living with depression a month ago, I was just you know there's a difference between sadness and depression. There's just this distinct difference that you know you're not sad. You know you're not sad. There's something that's making you struggle. There's something that's making you um, feel this unwell. It's like you're having a fever, but... Um, yeah, I'm actually talking about the time when I didn't have negative thoughts, but I was still depressed. I was still living with depression. And depression is more than just the negative thoughts because negative thoughts are symptoms. And when you still feel unwell, despite not having negative thoughts, what do you tell people why you're depressed, right? If you don't have the negative thoughts, you don't have the other symptoms, you just have this one symptom that... Um, I mean, not just one symptom, but a lot of other symptoms that make you feel unwell, but you don't have the negative thoughts. Because at the moment, logically, you are grateful, you are content, but... There's just something that's making you struggle. So, um, yeah. I feel you right there. Oh my gosh. Perhaps it was a breakup or an issue with our studies. It hurts to be perceived as someone with a mental disorder because we don't want society to label us as oversensitive or even crazy because we're too emotional. True, true. But by doing this, we invite those around us to try to solve the symptoms rather than get to the root of the issue. At the end of the day, we're left only with a lack of satisfaction, and our depression lingers. Yeah, I had a hard time understanding this, uh, but by doing this, we invite those around us to try to solve the symptoms rather than get to the root of the issue. Because the root of the issue is that there is something going on with our brain function, with our body, physiologically, but the symptoms are behavioral, right? So, yeah. We try to think that maybe a vacation will give you the happiness you've been seeking, but... But then, it doesn't, and then... Okay, episode 5, eat. I think I played this part, so... But I don't remember what she wants. 13 o'clock. Okay, she just woke up, went to whack Donald's. I think that's a hint. No. Let me see. I like. Yeah, I think patty, this, uh, tomatoes, and pineapple. Did I get it right? Yeah. But. Okay, that's what I want. But you know, if. If it's your first time playing this, you really don't know which order and what she wants. So it makes you wonder, what do you want, girl? You don't give me any hints. And you feel bad for that. Okay, we're eating. Oh, I don't want to pressure her. No, it's okay, Moon. Oh, I don't want to pressure you into eating. It's okay. If you don't want to eat. It's okay. Oh no, Moon! Ah, I'm stuffed. Why can't I even finish one burger? Oh my gosh, Moon. Okay. It's alright if you can't finish it. Come on, Moon. 
It can taste things and tell if they're good. Yeah. But eating won't make us feel content or happy, no matter how much we consume. Okay, so before I was depressed again uh, a few months ago or a month ago, just a month ago, before that, every time I would try to like order some food out or my partner will cook for me, I always think, wow, I'm so excited to eat. I want to taste this food. I want to feel good. I, I always am like just waiting and waiting and waiting for that moment because I really love food and food makes me really happy, makes me feel soft and happy. And um, when I was living with depression just a month ago, uh, it was really difficult to eat because your appetite was just... I don't know, it's messed up. I was just eating one thing every day. The same thing over and over. And it was, it was the one food that gave me the most comfort out of all the other foods out there. And it's so unhealthy, you guys. What if that one food was like a burger at McDonald's or... <laughs> yeah, like... Do you get what I'm saying? What if it's really unhealthy and you're just eating and eating the same thing every day and you're not getting any, any other nutrients, you know? So that was really bad. Um. Sometimes we even feel ashamed by our appetite. Yeah, yeah. Like, why is it so low? Or why is it too much? What makes you happy? That's probably the trickiest question of all to answer. Oh no, Moon. What does make you happy? Moon. I love Moon. I want to give her a hug. I feel her so badly. Moon. Episode 6, Think. So now... We did some overtime. Now we know that she, she's doing overtime because she has to finish work. She has a hard time finishing the work. Now we go to the bus stop. And... Who's holding the camera? Is it on a tripod? Okay. Hey. Huh. Your cat isn't in this. Why, the, did the, the cat pass away? My cousin graduated before I even realized. She's so cute. I feel you, girl, though. Everyone graduates before I even realize. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's happening? It's a few years. Oh my gosh. Moon is so old. Moon. Fit enough to go hiking at that age. How nice. Maybe I should get breakfast at Fellow's Cafe tomorrow. Oh, so her co-worker is Luna. She's put on some weight. She shouldn't be old enough to care about that. Did she graduate again? Cute little girl. Um... No! No, what's happening? No, what's happening? She's so old. Why did she get old? Are we like playing this the right way? <laughs> okay, she still gets off at work at 23 o'clock. She's still hiking. Every day is the same. Can't believe it. Things repeat themselves day after oh, day. Oh, that's the daughter. Time flies. She's all grown up now, but I'm still living the same life. 
Oh no, Moon. I feel you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're back in this tunnel. Days repeat like turning wheels. Yeah. Ten years, twenty years, thirty years. Moon. I love you, Moon. The repetition isn't even the most terrifying part. It's the fact that I can't see the end. If there's no means of escape, what's the point of moving forward? Y'all, this is so emotional. I hope you guys are still okay. What's the point of this cross in this tunnel? Episode 7, Sleep. Okay. We're gonna get home. We're going to sleep. Turn the lights on. Yeah, let's turn the lights on. Oh my gosh. Is that her phone or is that a switch? <laughs> she looks so happy. I love it. Turn that on. Okay, we're going to the bathroom. Turn this one on. Wash our face. Have to take a bath. And then go to sleep. Come on, go to sleep. Okay, we turn this off. Okay, sleep tight. Go to sleep and don't think about anything. Oh, okay. Stop oh. thinking. Focus on sleeping. This is difficult. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Um... My computer is like shaking right now from how hard I'm shaking my mouse. Come on. I'm helping you. Mm. It's alright. I'll get rid of these guys. Okay. No! Moon, oh my gosh, she's looking... Stop thinking about it, no matter she's how looking not I well. Try. Oh no, I'm sorry, Moon, I didn't... Oh my gosh, Moon. Oh my gosh. I fall asleep when I don't want to. But I can't sleep when I need to. Same. The more I worry about not falling asleep, the harder it gets. Um, yeah, there's this meditation thing I was following a while back <laughs> because I couldn't sleep. Uh, I tried those meditation videos. You guys can try it as well. Um, you can just search whatever you prefer, whichever video, podcast, or it's it's even on Netflix. The uh, relaxation or like sleep explained or something, and tells you there that you shouldn't worry about falling asleep. You should, like, not think, I have to sleep. You should think about reaching your maximum relaxation. So... But then, that's the same thing, you know? You ju you're just gonna worry about the same... It's just a different one, but, like, you're gonna worry about it. The more I want to control my mind, the harder it becomes. True, true. There are plenty of things like this in life. It's so frustrating. Oh, Moon. Oh my gosh. Anyone could be suffering from depression. This game is designed to place players into the shoes of someone living with depression. Rather than thinking about the symptoms, we invite you to focus on feeling. We hope this experience can provide some helpful insight if there is someone in your life who has depression. Oh, I love that. I mean, it's so... it's... oh my gosh, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. It's so difficult to explain depression to someone who has never experienced it or has low empathy and I just 
I just wish and hope that explaining it in different metaphors, explaining it in different ways would somehow make them understand it, but it's always so difficult and it's something that, you know, there's something there's something wrong with you physiologically, biologically, mentally, and because the symptoms are all behavioral, people just don't understand why or like how it comes to be. Um, this is really important to me because this is my life, y'all. This is a lot of people's lives. And I hope if you're watching this and if you're living with depression right now, let's talk. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of things you want to talk about or I want to talk about with you. And there are things that we can relate to, but other people can relate to, especially if they've never experienced it or they just simply don't understand it, even if they've experienced it. So... Um, it would be really nice to have someone to talk to. Um, so if you want to talk to anyone, you can just comment down below or message me or whatever you want. <laughs> I'll leave my socials in the description box if you want to contact me. So, yeah. We finished one day and okay so guys I might be ending it now just because this is just so emotionally taxing and I think I've reached my limit for today so um, if you guys want to see more of this game we can continue but in a different time and so thank you so much for watching I hope you are doing okay you're doing well and if you're not there are resources out there there are people who can help you who want to help you especially me even if you know um even if i don't know the person if they're struggling i really want to help them and help is just out there you can seek it and there's no shame in trying to get some help for yourself it's it's something that i know is really hard to do but yeah we'll get there we'll always get there and that's it if you're having a hard time don't hesitate to seek for help okay okay so that's all for today let's continue this game some other time i'm i'm spent so okay bye bye see you